Hi everyone, my name is Tony from Intelligent UES and SUES.com. Today we're going to play around a little bit with some thermal cameras. A FLIR Tau 2 640 radiometric and a FLIR View Pro radiometric 640. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build 3D maps of uh, the structures outside of our building. To do that we're going to use the PIX40, the software that allows you to, uh, to take daylight pictures of the structures, any kind of structure, and stitch them together to build 3D maps. Uh, today, instead, we're going to use thermal cameras and try it out, see how it works out. And to help us out, we're going to use one of our latest products, the Viewer Touch Pro, for this kind of cameras, and also for the uh, drones, Inspire a series of D DJI, or any kind of drones, um, 3600 folks, for example, any kind of drone that can carry lightweight payload. It also has a touchscreen controller that allows you to control change color palettes, uh, zoom, or whatever uh, kind of function that uh, this kind of camera will allow you to do. Another feature we will need uh, in order to build uh, successfully the, uh, the maps um, and know where the structures are is the geotagging. That means you have the GPS in information saved together with the the thermal pictures. Normally, uh, it's quite a complicated to do so. Today, we all already have this view of Touch Pro, and, and it works with a GPS module. And it allows you to do exactly what we need to do. That, ha that means we have GPS information saved with the uh, pictures, and then uh, load on a computer, process with Spix40, and uh, we're going to hopefully build thermal map or thermal mapping of the structures outside our building, you know, just a test run. So we're gonna, you know, head outside and give it a test to see how, uh, how well it works, all right? Okay, so here we are outside of our building and we're gonna use an Inspire 2 to do the mapping. And in fact, we're gonna use uh, the daylight camera just for a quick scan to show how, what the structure will look like. And here, here it is, all right? So, uh, and now we're going to switch over to the thermal cameras, take a few pictures using Pix40 software, and then we're going to load them to a computer, process with the software. You know, here we are, you know, processing, loading, and then uh, hopefully, you know, you can see the, uh, the GPS information is loaded, okay? On a actual maps, you can see where the pictures are, actually. Okay, processing, and now, here we are, finally, we have the thermal maps. Okay, uh, it's a quasi 3D structure. I'm showing you here a few angles of the computerized model that we've just built. Okay, when we do overlay the structure on the Google Maps itself, we can see the overlaying is perfect. That means the positions are okay. That's great. Okay, for, for more information, please visit our website at suas.com or contact us. Thanks for watching. Oh, one final thing I want to add here is that uh, remember that uh, FLIR boson video that we did last year and it got so far 16,000 hits and you can search on the first page of Google. We've now built a viewer touch uh, for, the, for the boson as we promised. It has a uh, daylight camera. So we, you can switch around from thermal to daylight. It has DVR to record video and you can access through the touch screen the recorded video and replay them. So. Uh, stay tuned for more updates from us. Thank you for watching.